So the um, evil scourge, uh, the that's played by Gerard Butler, as Grant was saying, he's um, you know you gotta kinda get sort of a magical evil vibe, you know, between him and the other people that are gonna be attacking across, you know, the European area of the Inland Sea there, of the Mediterranean, or not the Mediterranean, is it the Mediterranean? Whatever. So, like, the point here is, um, we need an epic, like, conclusion so that there's, like, the right amount of battle and so what I was thinking was we have, like I was saying, for the finale, the pirate boat goes incognito mode as a giant, you know, blue whale. Because it can, you know, turn into a submarine. So then it's got, like, you know, these other whales around it, you know, that's lured in with, like, this big, like, bagpipe system in the ship that, like, makes sexy mating calls. So then they're hiding in the water underneath where the the you know armada is showing up to attack the rest of the pirates so then um there's like these evil sharks that are like coming through and like you know checking to see if like you know anything's underwater you know they can stop their armada cuz like it's like you know the animals got like you know evil mojo you know and so like, these crabs are on the, uh, shark, sharks that go past, and they, like, float off of the sharks, and they come down and land on the, the whales, you know, on the ship. One of them lands on the ship, you know, it's in disguise as whales. So then, um, you know, you gotta have one of the, uh, pirates, you know, he's gotta be outside of the ship and battle him epically underwater, you know, as he's got, like, a deep sea diver, you know, helmet piece on as he's like, you know, fighting him to like, uh, prevent him from like alerting the, uh, rest of the shark circling crew that thinks it's just whales, you know, cause they're in the skies. And, uh, so then he like, you know, breaks the crabs, crustacean shell epically, you know, as he's struggling with them. And then the crabs are like, Oh, and twitches and dies. So then they stay in disguise. So then the point is, then um, slowly, uh, over a time period, as the armada's coming overhead, there's these uh, burning, you know, little gas uh, rocks that are inflating bladders in the inside of the pirate ship. So then it uh, slowly starts to accelerate. And then when the armada's right above them, then it reaches full acceleration of bubbling and then it like turns into an enormous like accelerant up out of the water and it blasts as it reaches near the surface is like you know you have all the comedic like rats eyes like bugging out of their heads from like getting the bends almost and you like the pressure changing and then they blast up out of the water majestically you know spuming up at high speed and shoot up into the air you know 10 20 50 feet as a whole ship with all their cannons, you know, opening up on all sides, unfurling with water shooting off of them, and then they just let loose with all of their concentrated, you know, high-end die explosions, and they just completely decimate and detonate all of the ships from the inside out, from the top down, just destroy all their sh uh, sails, and then all the, you know, people and rats just come flying off of that ship epically in all directions, at the same time, you know, diving at all the ships, you know, swinging off of ropes, you know, from undersides of the ship, you know, down at the other ships to land on them. And it's just full-on maelstrom of war. Um, we definitely need, you know, different, like, you know, we need some, like, evil, like, canaries and stuff, you know, some black canaries that are, like, you know, battling Jack Sparrow, you know? And he's got, like, um... They're, like, fighting over the, you know, the, the sails, you know? They're trying to, like, you know, destroy them and, like, light them on fire, you know, the different animals, you know? Um... 
And so, you know, it's it's a good mix because you got all the people, you know, fighting. And then you can have the whole interaction of, like, different animals, you know, fighting each other at the feet of other people, you know, rushing around. So then they can, like, have moments where they're going to say things to each other and square off. And then somebody just kicks an animal and he just flies and, like, flies off the boat, you know. You have one of those scenes for comedic relief, supposedly. Um... I'll have to think more about this. That was my main idea. Um, hmm.